So, you know that uh, language represented by a regular expression is defined as regular language. Now, we are in a position to provide alternative definition of regular languages via finite automaton either DFA or NFA and also via regular grammars. That is the class of regular languages is precisely the class of languages accepted by finite automata and also it is the class of languages generated by regular grammars. So, this results will give by providing a few theorems. So, first we are going to prove that regular expressions are equivalent to finite automaton. That means, the class of languages accepted by DFA or NFA is same as that represented by regular expressions. So, we say that a regular expression R is equivalent to a finite automaton A. Suppose, A is a finite automaton. We say that R is equivalent to the finite automaton A. If the language represented by the regular expression is precisely accepted by the finite automaton A. Now, in order to prove this equivalence, regular expressions are equivalent to finite automaton. So, what we will do? We prove these two. Given a regular expression R e, we construct an equivalent finite automaton and then given a DFA A, we show that L of A is regular. That means, there is a regular expression R that represents the same language except by the finite automaton A that is L A. Now, to prove one we will first prove this first point. So, we will first prove three lemmas. So, what we will assume is that say R 1 is a regular expression and R 2 is a regular expression. Then let us assume that there exist finite automata say A 1 denoted as Q 1 sigma delta 1 q 1 f 1 and which accept the language represented by the regular expression r 1. That means, L of a 1 is exactly L of r 1 and assume that for this regular expression r 2 we have an automaton say A 2 given by Q 2 sigma delta 2 Q 2 and F 2 such that L of A 2 is exactly L of R 2. So, we assume that for two regular expressions given regular expressions we have two automaton A 1 and A 2 respectively that accepts the corresponding language of the regular expressions. Now, we prove these lemmas. These lemmas. So, first lemma says that there exist a finite automaton accepting L of R 1 plus R 2. That means, given R 1 and R 2 and the corresponding finite automata, 
then we can construct a finite automaton accepting a language R 1 plus R 2. Let us see how can you do that. So, let us assume that the automaton A 1 for R 1 for L of R 1 is this one. So, there is star state which is Q 1 and there are many other states and eventually a set of final states that is denoted as F 1. So, this is the automaton A 1. Similarly, we have the final automaton A 2 for L of R 2 where we have a star state q 2 as you have already defined and a set of final states this is f 2. So, this automaton accepts L of R 2. So, A 2 is for L of R 2. Now, from these two automaton we will construct a fine automaton which is say A which will accept the language L of R 1 plus R 2. Now, to do that from A 1 and A 2 we construct say A which will accept L of R 1 plus R 2 we claim that way. So, it is nothing but Q sigma delta Q 0 f corresponding elements where Q is basically all the states in A 1 union states in A 2 and then we introduce a new state which is a star state of the automaton A that means Q 0 is a new state that we have introduced. Then set of final states for this automaton A is the union of the final states of A 1 and A 2 and we define delta which is from Q cross sigma union epsilon this is basically an NFA goes to the power set of Q. So, we define by we define this transition map by this. So, delta Q A for this automaton where Q is any state then it may be we keep all the transitions from the automaton A 1 that means delta 1 Q A. If Q belongs to Q 1 capital Q 1 and A belong to belongs to sigma union epsilon that means it retains all the transition functions of automaton A. It also retains all the transition functions of the automaton Q 2 that means delta Q A equal to delta 2 Q A if Q belongs to Q 2 because we have used delta 2 and A belongs to sigma union epsilon. Finally, from the star state Q 0 if Q equal to Q 0 if there is a star state then on epsilon the automaton A will transit to either Q 1 the star state of A 1 or Q 2 that means, it is nothing but Q 1 union Q 2. So, if Q equal to Q 0 and A equal to so A equal to epsilon. So, on epsilon transition from the star state of new automaton A it will move to either the star state of A 1 
or the start set of q 2. That means, In this figure, what we do, we for the automaton A, we introduce a new star state that is q 0 and from this q 0 to the star state of A 1, we give epsilon transition and from the star state of A, we give epsilon transition to the star state of A 2 and the resultant automaton that we have got. There is an automaton that we have got is the automaton A. And I claim that this automaton A accepts the language written by the regular expression R1 plus R2. That means, L of A is nothing but L of R1 plus R2. So, intuitively it is quite clear, because if this automaton A accepts the language, accepts a string suppose x belongs to L of A, then it has to start at to process the string x at start q 0, it must first either transit to star set of A 1 or it may transit to the star set of q 2 by taking an epsilon transition first. Without loss of generality, if it transits to the star set of a 1 that is q 1 then from this point onward it will follow all the transitions of a 1 because we have retained all the transitions of a 1 and then onward by processing the string x eventually it will reach one of final states and that is one of final states from f 1. And since f 1 and since f 1 is also a final state of this automaton f the string the string will be accepted by the automaton a 1 as well since x is processed at star state q 1 and eventually it enters the final state which is in f 1. That means, formally we can write it that for x belong to sigma star x belongs to the language of the automaton a if and only if there is a transition or it processes the string starting at state q 0 delta hat q 0 x and eventually it arrives at the final state that means, the set of next states intersection f not equal to phi. That is how we define the acceptance by an F A. If and only if delta hat, we can write it as q 0 epsilon x, because x can be written as epsilon x intersection f not equal to phi. If and only if delta hat since this is q 0 epsilon x, we can write it as delta hat q 0 epsilon first process the string epsilon and then you take the string x. So, we apply the same x international function delta hat this interaction f not equal to not equal to phi. not equal to phi. Now, the way we have defined this transition 
delta hat q 0 epsilon this is nothing but it may go to either q 1 or q 2 that means we will have delta hat to such q 1 and q 2 because if we start start state of the automaton a take epsilon transition it may either go to q 1 or it may go to q 2 then it will process a string x. So, this interaction f not equal to 5. So, this means that if and only if delta delta hat q 1 x and delta hat q 2 x and take the union that is how we define delta hat q 2 x q 2 comma x. So, this intersection f not equal to 5. So, if and only if by applying laws of set theory, you can write it as delta hat q 1 x union sorry intersection f intersection f union delta hat from this delta hat q 2 x intersection f q 2 x intersection f this not equal to is if and only if since this f over here delta hat we are considering only the moves of automaton a 1 delta hat q 1 x we started at start state of q 1 and from that point onward there will not be any transition from automaton a 2. So, therefore, we can write this as f 1 union and this one we can write it as delta q 2 x since from this point onward we will take only the transitions from automaton a 2. Therefore, we can write it as f 2. So, this is not equal to 5. So, this if and only if this says that x belongs to language the automaton a because start the start set of automaton a 1 process the string x. So, if you arrive at at least uh, some state which belongs to the automaton I mean final set of a 1. Similarly, this says that x belongs to L of a 2. So, therefore, x belongs to either this or either L of a 1 or x belongs to L of a 2. So, since this not equal to phi delta hat q 1 x interaction f 1 not equal to phi means x belongs to L of a 1. Similarly, delta hat q 2 x interaction f 2 not equal to phi this belongs that means x belongs to L of a 2. This means x belongs to L of a 1 union x belongs to L of a 2. Therefore, if x belongs to L of a then x must belong to either L of a 1 or x must belong to either L of a 2. Therefore, L of a equal to L of a 1 union L of a 2. So, this is proved. Now, in lemma 2 we will show that. So, if there exist fine automaton for regular expressions R 1 and R 2, 
then there exists a finite automaton accepting L of R 1 R which is a concatenation of the two regular expressions. Let us prove it. So, it looks quite simple and similar to the previous one. So, what you do if this is the automaton A 1 with star state Q 1 and the set of final states f 1 and this is the automaton a 2 this is for l of r 2 and this is for l of r 1 which has a star state q 2 and the set of final states f 2. What you do in the automaton A that you construct for L of R1, R2 from these two automat automata A1 and A2, we consider this F1 to be F1, the set of final states to be non final states, and give epsilon transition from each of these final states to the star state of automaton A2. And in A, this is the new automaton A that we have constructed. Q1 is the star state, and F2, the set of final states of A2, will be the will also be the final state of A. And all these final states of Q1 will be non-final states or ordinary states in A. Now we claim that the language accepted by the automaton A is nothing but the language accepted by a 1 concatenation language accepted by A 2. So, therefore, it is nothing but L of R 1 concatenation R 2. Formally, the construction can be shown to be like this say A is a quintuple with Q sigma delta is q 1 is a star state of A and f 2 set of final states of A 2 is a final states of final state final states of A. So, where q equal to q 1 union q 2 we have not introduced any new state over here the set of states remains same q 1 union q 2 and delta is defined by let us define delta like this. So, delta of q a is basically delta 1 q a we retain all the transitions of this state uh, of this automaton a 1. Therefore, delta q a for this automaton will retain all the transitions of this one, except that there will be transition on epsilon from the set of final states to the star set of q 2. So, this is nothing but delta q a equal to delta 1 q a if q belongs to q 1. if q belongs to q 1 and a belongs to sigma union epsilon. Of course, this will be q 2 if q belongs to f 1 that means, for all states other than f 1 we retain this transition whenever it enters a final state of a 1 then on epsilon it goes to the star state of a 2. 
Similarly, once it enters the starts of Q2, we retain all the transitions of A2. That means, delta QA equal to delta 2 QA. If Q belongs to Q2 and A belongs to sigma union epsilon, that is as usual. So, this is a transition function that is defined for the automaton A that we have already constructed. Now, we claim that L of A equal to L of A 1 continuation L of A 2. To do that, suppose that there is string x which is A 1, A 2 up to say A n and this belongs to say L of A. That means, this automaton A that we are constructed from A 1 and A 2 accepts the string x which have the form A 1, A 2 up to say A n where each A i belongs to sigma. That is, that is delta hat q 1 x star state of automaton q automaton a, a is q 1. If it process the string x at a star state, then it will eventually reach a final state. That means, this intersection f 2 not equal to 5. This is from this is from the definition of acceptance of a string. Now, it is clear from the construction of the automaton A that only way to reach from Q 1, the only way to reach Q 1, reach from Q 1 any state of F 2 is via this state Q 2, because we have to arrive first one of final states of A 1. From there, we have to take an epsilon transition to Q 2 and then only we will be able to arrive at one of final sets of F 1. And we have only epsilon transition from F 1 to Q 2. Thus, while traversing through x, while it traverse through x the automaton A from Q 1 to some states of F 2, there must exist some state that belongs to F 1 and some number k which is less than or equal to n, where n is a number of symbols over here, such that p must belong to the set of next states when you process from a star state the string a 1, a 2 up to a k. So, after processing up to k, the automaton enters the state p where p is a final set of a 1. From there, it has to take epsilon transition to q 2 and then delta hat q 2 a k plus 1 a k plus 2 up to it has to process the whole string and this will eventually reach a final set of a 2 that means, this intersection f 2 not equal to phi. Then what I found is that the string x 1 which is a 1 a 2 up to a k this must belong to the language of the automaton a 1 because it has started the start stop automaton a 1 and process the string say so this is x 1 and p is a final state of f 1. Therefore, this string must be accepted this x 1 must be accepted by the automaton a 1. So, this belongs to the language of a 1 and the x 2 the other string this string say call it x 2 a k plus 1 a k plus 2 a n since after processing this substring x 2 at the start set of q 2 and taking all the moves of a 2, it eventually enters a final state because this intersection f 2 is not equal to phi. Therefore, this must belong to the language of a 2. Therefore, x which is equal to x 1 x 2 
must belong to L of A 1 concatenation L of A 2. Conversely, to prove the converse say x some string x belong to h sigma star belongs to the language of l of a 1 l of a 2. Then we can write x as x 1 x 2 such that x 1 belongs to l of a 1 and x 2 belongs to l of a 2. So, for some x 1 belong to sigma star it must belong to L of A 1 and x 2 must belong to L of A 2. So, that x 1 x 2 is nothing but x. Therefore, if that is the case then delta hat q 1 x 1 intersection f 1 not equal to 5. Similarly, for this from this we get delta hat q 2 x 2 intersection f 2 not equal to 5 according to the definition of acceptance of string by each of these automation. Now, if we consider this computation q 1 x, as q 1 x is, is q 1 x 1 x 2. So, in 0 or more steps eventually it will arrive at p after processing the string x 1 and x 2 will yet to be processed. So, where for some p belong to the final sets of final set of f 1. Now, from here this configuration can be written as p epsilon x 2 and here from this since p belongs to the final set of a 1 by taking epsilon transition from that state it can go to the star set of a 2. So, therefore, in one step it will go to star set of q 2 from p epsilon and x 2 will remain because you know that delta p epsilon equal to q 2. Now, from this point onward taking 0 or more steps eventually when it is processed it will arrive at some state say p dash and the string epsilon will be x 2 will be exhausted where p dash is a final state of f 2. So, since we have this computation. Therefore, delta hat q 1 x intersection f 2 not equal to 5. So, if we start at q 1 process the whole string x eventually we arrive at a state p s which belongs to f 2. Therefore, delta hat q 1 x interaction f not equal to 5. So, this implies x belongs to L of A. So, therefore, we have proved this lemma. Now, let us show or prove another lemma which is lemma 3. This says that given any regular expression r 1 if we have a finite automaton to accept the language written by this regular expression r 1 then there exist a finite automaton accepting the language l of r 1 star. L of R 1 star. That means, 
the clean closure the regular for the clean closure of the regular action R 1 will have a finite automaton, we can always construct a finite automaton. So, so what we do in the construction is that, so if this is the finite automaton accepting the language dependent by the regular action L of R 1, it will have a star state Q 1 and a set of final states set is f 1. So, we construct a new automaton set is a set is a 1 accepting L of R 1. We construct a new automaton where we introduce a new star state that is q 0 a new final states fin final state say it is p and we consider all the final states of a 1 to be non final states in the automaton a. Then we give absolute transition from the final each of the final states of a 1 to the final state p of automaton a we provide epsilon transition from final states of A 1 to the star set of A 1 and also we provide an epsilon transition from the star set of A to the final sets of final state of so, clearly it is a NFA and this NFA we have constructed from the automaton A 1 for L of R 1. So, clearly the automaton A contains the element Q sigma delta Q 0 f, where Q is Q 1 union we have introduced a new star state and final state p and delta q a for the automaton a is defined as it will go to state either q 1 or p on epsilon transition on epsilon transition if if the state q the state q belongs to the final state of so this epsilon transition if it belongs to this final state of a1 or it is a star state of a that means for this epsilon transition so if q belongs to f1 union q0 then on epsilon transition a equal to epsilon it will go to either q 1 f 1 to uh, q 0 to sorry this is q 1 q 0 to q 1 or f 1 to p or q 0 to And then it takes or retains all the transitions of the automaton A1 if Q belongs to Q1 and A belongs to sigma union epsilon. So, that is how we have constructed the automaton A from the automaton A 1 and we claim that this automaton A accepts the language L of R 1 star. This is because without taking an input at the star state it may go to the star state of A 1 
and then using this transition using this transition from the final set so once it reaches the final state this using this transition it may again come back to the start state of q1 and it can be done many numbers of times so that denotes r1 star because this automaton a1 accepts l of r1 so since we have introduced this loop on epsilon transition from the final state to the start state of from the start from the final state of a1 to the start state of a1 because of this anything that lead the automaton a1 from the start state to final state that can be taken many number of times and since because of this epsilon transition from star set of q0 to the final set of star set of a q0 to the final set p of a epsilon is also accepted by the automaton a so therefore this is nothing but l of r1 star let us prove this formally we prove that l of a is nothing but l of a 1 star. Now, for x belonging to sigma star, let us consider any string over sigma star, x belongs to l of a means delta hat q 0 x from a star state you process this eventually it must arrive at a state p which is the final state of the automaton a. This implies that either x is epsilon in such a case from a star set q 0 directly we can go to state p or delta hat q 0 x intersection f 1 not equal to phi. That means, we process the string x at state q 0 eventually arrive at one of final state of a 1 and from there we can take the epsilon transition to p that way also we can accept the string. So, either x equal epsilon or this must be true. So, if x equal to epsilon then trivially x belongs to L of a 1 star. So, it is quite trivial otherwise there exists a sequence of states say p 1, p 2, p k which belongs to f 1 and some substrings of x is x 1, x 2 or to say x k such that we can arrive at p 1 after processing the string x 1 at the star state q 1 process the string x 1 at q 1 this x n transition function. Then you can arrive at string p 2 that means, p 2 belongs to delta hat q 2 x 2 and so on eventually p k belongs to delta hat So it is q 1 every time you start at the start set of the automaton a 1. So, q 1 x k process the string x k at the start set of q 1 and eventually it will lead us to state p k. Thus, for all i greater than or equal to 1 less than or equal to k x i must belong to L of a 1 because in each case p 1 p 2 p k they belong to the state set of final states. 
So, therefore, each substring x i that is x 1, x 2, x k must belong to the language L of A 1. Therefore, x belongs to L of A 1 star. So, we have shown or proved three lemmas that means, given automaton fine automaton for the language written by R 1. So, it is A 1 and for R 2 if the automaton is A 2 then you can always construct fine automaton accepting the languages L of R 1 plus R 2, L of R 1 R 2 and L of L of R 1 star. Now, we are going to prove the theorem that the language denoted by a regular expression, regular expression can be accepted by a finite automaton. So, in that we will be using these three lemmas say lemma 1, lemma 2 and lemma 3. Now, let us prove this theorem. So, proof of the theorem. So, we prove the result by induction on the number of operators of a regular expression. So, number of operators uh, of a regular expression R, we apply induction on that. Suppose, suppose R has 0 operators, then that is the basis case. In such a case, R must be either epsilon or phi or it may be a single symbol A that belongs to the input alphabet, because there is no operators involved. It must be a single, single symbol, it may be phi or it may be epsilon. For each of the cases, we can construct phi automaton to accept this. For, for example, if r equal to epsilon, then the phi automaton containing the single state and which is a star state and also a final state. So, this state will accept uh, this fine automaton will accept the string epsilon. Similarly, if r equal to phi then a fine automaton of this form say this is the state p star state and for any symbol a belonging to sigma there is self loop and there is no final state. In such a case no string will be accepted by this fine automaton and hence r equal to phi or we can also do it like this we can incorporate a final state say p is a star state. So, for all a belonging to sigma we give a self loop here and then say this is the final state say this is q and we give a transition from q on all a belonging to sigma. So, since there is no path from the star state to the final state, this will also accept empty set. So, therefore, this is the automaton either this or this one is an automaton to accept the empty set. And then if r equal to single symbol a, then the, this automaton with star state p on a it goes to the final state q. So, this automaton will accept the language the language of the automaton will be simply the singleton a. So, therefore, this automaton accepts r where r equal to a. 
Now, suppose that the result is true for regular expressions with say k or fewer operators. Suppose R is a regular expression which has k or fewer operators and for that case assume that the result is true. We have a fine automaton to accept the same language represented by R that is the hypothesis. Now, consider a regular expression R that has k plus 1 operators. We want to show that for this regular expression also or say R s which has k plus 1 operators. Then for this regular expression also we will be able to construct a final automaton. So, so, how to do that? If this expression regular expression has k plus 1 operators, then there are three cases according to the operators involved in regular expression or with regular expression. So, number 1 is R s must be R 1 plus R 2. Number 2 it may be this R s must be R 1 R 2 or number 3 this R s must be some R 1 star. So, you consider this sum concatenation and clean closure. So, in any case you note that both R 1 and R 2 since R s has k plus 1 operators both R 1 and R 2 must have k or fewer operators. So, therefore, for each of these R 1 and R 2 we have already fine automaton an automaton for R 1 and R 2 is already available according to the induct inductive hypothesis. Now, already we have shown by using this lemma 1 and lemma 2 and lemma 3 that if there is a fine automaton for R 1 and R 2 then we have fine automaton for L of R 1 plus R 2, L of R 1 R 2 and L of R 1 star. Therefore, so therefore, for R s which has k plus 1 operators which is nothing but R 1 plus R 2 or it may be R 1 R 2 or R 1 star will have final automaton accepting R s. So, therefore, for L of R s we have an finite automaton. So, therefore, given any regular expression R will be able to construct a finite automaton accepting the language represented by this regular expression. So, this completes the proof of the theorem that for any given regular expression we can construct a finite automaton accepting the same language. Now, let us give an example demonstrating the construction of the N of an NFA for a regular expression. Consider regular expression say R which is A star B plus A. We will just follow the steps which we have already de described to construct final automaton for regular expression R. First, we list the corresponding NFA for each sub expression of A star B plus A. For this A in the first sub expression the corresponding automaton according to our construction is this one containing a simple two states starts and final state with a single transition on symbol A. So, this automaton accepts the regular expression simply A. From this by the construction of clean closure we can have for the sub expression A star we can construct the automaton like this. We start with this automaton this A we introduce a new star state and a final state and we make this to be non final state then there is a new star state 
given epsilon transition directly to this final state, epsilon transition to this star state of the previous automaton, epsilon transition to the final state from the previous final state and from this final state of the previous automaton to the star state we give an epsilon transition. So, according to the construction this automaton will accept the language of the regular expression A star. Then for B similarly expression B we have the automaton containing two states where there is single transition on input symbol B. Therefore, for A star B that means concatenation of this A star and B we can now construct the automaton like this. First you consider this automaton and then epsilon transition to this one. Transition. So, this is the automaton for A star and this is the automaton for singleton B. Now, according to the construction we consider this to be a non final state and from this non final state we give an epsilon transition to the star state of this automaton and we make this to be the star state of the automaton and this is the final state of this automaton. So, this will accept the language of the regular expression A star B. So, therefore, the automaton for A star B plus A will be this automaton union will create now a new star state and the automaton for A will be for this A we draw here the transition diagram for the automaton with a singleton A and we create a new star state give epsilon transition to the star set of previous automaton and epsilon transition to the star set of this automaton. So, this is a star set of the uh, new automaton and this one and this one will be final state of this New, new automaton which will accept the language A star B or 